Oh, come on. There it is. It is working. What am I saying? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of here. Welcome back to another episode of Dang and Ropla. Triple Happy Havoc. And in the last episode, we took care of one of the free time sections. So we're going to take care of the another free time section. Kyoko got big mad at us, and we're mad at the game for not letting Kyoko us pick the decision on what we wanted to do with Kyoko. But it's fine, video game. It's whatever. What we need to do is figure out where people are. Oh, we're hanging out with Byakuya. That's I made my, my my message is already made for me. Byaki is available and nearby. Yes. Also, I learned that you can sprint. What have been useful information most of the games, so at least for the other games, we'll know. Um, Byakia, hi buddy. Hmm. The others have locked together as usual. I see, but they need to be careful. Growing too close will cause a, only cloud their judgment. Should I talk to Byakia for a while? Of course. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge my attention. I hope you can appreciate this at least. Spent time with Byakia. And we got closer. Would you like to give Byakia a present? Sure. He got angry with us last time, but... Maybe we can give him something that he'll appreciate. Here, have this watch. The most popular throwaway watch due to its poor qual- Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe not. An astral baby doll. That's probably for somebody else. Um, Quality chinchilla cover. Dark red seat cover. Its refined design is intended for the most elite- Clientele. If you insist, I suppose I can accept it. This is the thing. He liked it. Yes, so he was in okay. Other words, just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent prodigy is one of my many talents. Some people think I rely on it to care for care and protection of the Togami name, but huh? Is this a monologue or something? I don't rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true, but I will take us to greater heights. It is expected of me naturally. After all, my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, Makoto, I assure you. It comes from battles I fought and won. Battles? <laughs> I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from my Togami family assets. How the heck can you make that much money? In other words, the stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based off the market trends, with and all within a single day. Okay, you need to like show me how to do that. That'd be great, honestly. Yes. We need that. Surely, even some simple-minded, someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing things every single day. I think that's called. Day trading. He's a day trader. And you made $4 billion doing That's that? Right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied. But before I knew it, there was... That's not really a big deal. That's, I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are the high schoolers even allowed to buy and sell Don't stocks? I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant, that meant to be an exclamation? Hmm. $4 billion is nothing to the Togami Corporation. But for personal use, it's not bad. So now, you understand, right? I am merely the child of a modern-day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe you should start calling yourself the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, and I don't do that anymore. It's too simple, so I got bored off of it pretty quickly. Jeez, you, do you realize how insulting that sounds for the rest of us? Hmm. Of course, but that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want whenever I want in this world. Man, really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart, even. Byakuya's report card has been updated based off your experience. We got some skill point increases. Yay! Still reeling from Baki Byakuya's story. I went to my room. And it's gonna be nighttime. Per the usual, you only get two free time night free three time section in the free time section. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's per the usual. Okay. We spent time with Byakuya and uh I'm proud of that. 
Attention, attention. Oh, different. Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. No, no. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, no. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. No, 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 no. I know what this means. We're going to get a motive. Uh-oh. We got to run to this gym now. What the heck is he going to motivate us with this time? That's the wrong room. I s I'm so glad we found this running feature. Like, this is such a huge feature. Like, it takes about the same time to teleport to this gym as it did to, like, run to the gym, I'm sure. I wonder, like, if speedrunning strats actually do that, though. If they run or not. Sakura, we need to talk. Sakura? Huh. You're the last one. Did Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? However... I have a bad feeling about this. I do, too. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Sakura? Well, then. Makoto, if something happens to me, Hina. Huh? I'm sorry. No, never mind. So then. I, I'm... Would you believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um, Sakura? I just wanted to talk to you. What's wrong? We love you. Uh... Everyone must have heard the announcement. Once we gathered at the gym, it had began. No, no, no. Well? Okay, then. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, you're about to give us the next motive and presentation, aren't you? I know. That's what I'm thinking, too. Mm -hmm. That's right. You got us all together to present the motive, right? <laughs> It is, is he right? Huh? We have to go through this again. <laughs> oh no, I can't take it anymore. I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see how low on the totem pole of life you really are. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. Today, the reason I, I gathered you all together. Black is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? Why? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you having a grudge against us. Mm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush and just tell us what you're talking about. <laughs> well, Biakia, you've already told everyone how you, one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Oh no. Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words. Well, today, I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? Hey. So, um... guess what? <laughs> the spy is actually Sakura Ogami. He said it so openly. It made me sound like it wasn't that big of a deal, even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What, what did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. What is this? Well, what are you talking about? You're a liar. There's no way Sakura is a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and might I say, Sakura fulfill the prom make make uh, blah, 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 blah. And might I might it might just make me make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys chose to do was, and with that information, is up to you. Kills, kills, Roast her, kills. boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever you may do. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Either way, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he'd been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal. A word met with betrayal. Huh? Um, what the heck? So what does that mean? What? What? Is it true? Has Ogre been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. <laughs> but that is whoa, 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 what that stuffed animal said, right? Wrong. 
You're well, wrong. he's wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Huh? What? Oh, then he no. was serious. Ogre's been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you've been, been lying to us this 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 time? Huh? It's not it's not true, Sakura. I was probably being controlled. This has got to be there's gonna be some some reason she didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. Yeah. Well, what? You, you're talking like you, you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's when I where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during the fight, I heard Sakura say, she decided to fight against the Mastermind. I see. You saw all of that. The Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? And in the end, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Isn't that it? Hm. Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. Impossible. He he's right. We can't believe whatever she says now. Hm. How can we even be sure that she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind what wants. Sakura would never do that. Okay then, Sakura. If you really have to cut if you really have cut ties with him, the mastermind, then tell us who they really are. <sighs> well, I'm sorry. Sorry. I can't. I Even I don't know that. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. But please! She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat Shut this. up. I'm finished. Not finished questioning her. Next question. What about the promise did you mastermind order you to do? <sighs> I was told <sighs> to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room dropped about 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So now you've taken aim on our lives. Wrong. 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 I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that. <laughs> you you don't heck? have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? That's terrible. It's because you're not listening to me. Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to fulfill responsibility for this. I have to take full However. responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? <sighs> By destroying the mastermind. What? I... I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on. What do you mean if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. <gasps> what? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. Well. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... but... So Sakura. I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... It's officially night time! This is the real announcement. <coughs> now, Ted. Officially night time. Dining hall will be locked. Sweet dreams, don't let the bed bugs bite. Got it, got it, got it. Moving forward! <sighs> well, night time. Let's go back to bed. No way. Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is Don't make me repeat myself. Over. She's our enemy. Nothing more to discuss. That's terrible. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why does and doesn't anyone understand her? What? what? Do you is it that you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was in the what first place. This? That's calm down. Let it go for now. Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything as of right now. But anyway. Go to your room. Calm down. We can continue the discussion tomorrow, okay? It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura's the spy. She's the traitor. Byakuya said Sakura is the enemy. But he's not wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, though, without a doubt. But what can I even do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? 
And with that, we have a Monica with the inner break. It's a game of life. As long as you're a human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries into a third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets and has things that they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear. Dang. I like how they represented that with the game of life, though. Wow. Okay. That was actually a good one. I noticed that. I was like, what are we doing? I know we're talking about something to do with that. Didn't think we were going to go that deep, though. Good morning, everyone. Seven a.m. Another beautiful day. Got it. Cool. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to that dining hall. Yes, we do. Dining hall time. Dining hall time. Gotta get to the dining hall now. Dining hall time. We need to run because what's... There's going to be a fight, a brewing. Hi, Kyoko. Why aren't you here? Time to go to the dining hall. Who's even in here right now? We have... Oh, everybody but Sakura. Ah, Makoto, are you okay? Oh, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you were late, so, so, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dullard. Toko and Byakuya. What are you doing here? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Such Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Masterminds, too. The Masterminds? Are you talking about Sakura? That's when I finally noticed the only one that wasn't here was Sakura. Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you it was a safeguard against that threat. Threat? What is this? Why? Why do you hate her so Naturally. much? Isn't it obvious? It's because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what did you stupid. say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It, it is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe we should stop and think about things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? What the heck? They weren't getting enough revenge on her. They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However, That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact is also meant to serve as the next motive to the mastermind. The, the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words. In other words, this right here. The fighting, the bickering, is a trap the mastermind laid for us. Knowing that, will you stand there and argue like children? But... No, that's not what I'm trying to do, is it? Just, I mean, how can you guys, how can I get you guys to believe that so in Sakura again? If she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? And it, you'd really ask her to do something dangerous? What if it's something terrible happens to her? It wouldn't matter. Huh? What? If Sakura were to die, it's one less person the mastermind can to, for, for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakuya. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle the entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be the whole... It would put a whole problem... The whole problem to rest. What the hell? You disgust me! You're... You're a monster! To say something like that? It should have been you. You should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? Interesting. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all. What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? You lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> That's the stupid cow. How dare she? She should d -d die a thousand deaths. No, a m -m million. So she's just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya, and all you can do is mock them for it. Hm. What's wrong with that? Hey. A friendly word of warning. 
someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play with and you. And I will happily elude its attempts. <sighs> uh, so you know, um, um, how do we uh eat? Or maybe now is not a good time. You know? <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. More free time! What should we do today with our free time? Well, um, I don't know necessarily speaking what we should do, but we need to figure out people to hang out with on our free time. Um, I feel like people are going to be on the fourth floor like last time. Yeah. I was not wrong. They're all just hitting up on the fourth floor. Okay, we have Kyoko and Hero, Hina, the, the group of two, and it's Sakura over here. Yeah, we're going to go hang out with Sakura in the chem lab. She's been taking kind of a beating today, and honestly, she doesn't deserve it. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if we create the right opportunity. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you still stand by me. <laughs> I don't understand you, Mikado. Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Sakura a present? What are we going to give to Sakura? Here. Donning Sarmor bestows the wear with immense power at the cost of their soul and their senses. Here you go. Sorry, but I'm not interested in that kind of a thing. Uh-oh. Don't think she was too happy with that. That's okay. I have plenty of time. I think it was like some warrior arm armor thing, but I guess it was at the cost of the souls <laughs> was the problem, probably. Okay, so people down here. Yes, they are. Ina and Sakura are together. Byaki is in the warehouse again. Hmm. Go away. She won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see me see my face. Ugh, this is why we don't lie. I'm actually upset because I wanted to see her. I wanted to hang out with her, but the game literally said, no, you're not going to be able to hang out with her this chapter. Like, literally, a bro. That's a bro moment and a half. Hina and Sakura, you both are in the dining hall. Can I join you guys for dinner? I know I've been focusing on you guys a lot recently. I'm actually going to focus, continue focusing on Sakura. I'm sorry. I appreciate the thought, but I'd like to be alone right now. I need time to myself to think. Although, that's one skill I haven't developed too much. Hina? Sorry. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I kind of want to be alone right now. I got a lot to think about. Wow, I'm really, like, cut off from everybody. I guess... B Biakia, then? Unless Biakia doesn't want to hang out. Which would shock me, but... Hmm. Sakura and Hina. <laughs> Finally some action. Hmm. Things are starting to get what interesting. Huh? Oh, I didn't see you. Did you need something? Should I tell you? Yeah. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. Hope you appreciate this. Spent more time with Biakia. Would you like to give Bianchi a pre Bianchi a present? Sure. Can 
Can I give people the same present and will they still enjoy it? Yes. Cool. Hmm. Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. Could Byaki have want what could Byaki have want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. I'm sure. What's up? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps one percent of us, will be able to succeed so in life. In other words, so for the other ninety nine percent, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking hour toiling it to scrap together the meaning of life and just barely what? getting by. I just don't understand. Is there a meaning to life? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're part of the ninety nine percent, of course. Why do you even feel the need to ask? I knew he was gonna insult me somehow. <laughs> and up to now, I've been never been around anyone like that. I'm so I'm interested. Tell me, how does it feel to live without hope, without potential, and ambition, or dreams? Come on. I don't have an ambi ambition or dreams. I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, I'm sure I'll never, I'll never be as rich as you or something, but do you have to go around saying to everyone, can you be happy with by being better than others? <laughs> Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation, and yet those are the words of the 99%. That's how you'll comfort your tiny, cold little word. Stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never get in a position to change the world. You can all disappear tomorrow. That would mean nothing. Your existence is of no consequence. Whether that's true or not, that doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If you live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If it spent, if I spent all the time comparing my life to other people, I'd never be happy. I'm sure maybe you can't do, you can do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born. What? So hold it. From the day I was born, you have no idea. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? what? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I've gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I'm the chosen. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you running away into the world of self-indulgence, battle, competition, rivalry, rivalry. You run away from it all. That's why the 99% walk the path they do. Such Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprise amount of emotion, Byakio quickly made his exit. What the heck got into him? Acting totally normal up until I said being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I wonder why that set him off. Your report card has been updated. You've unlocked the envious influence. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. I could stop thinking about Bia I could not stop thinking about Biakia while I went into my room. Night time. the door okay then <sighs> okay my time already tonight felt some i felt somehow uneasy we still haven't settled things in sakura everyone's in a terrible mood and i hope nothing happens tonight that's possible After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she'd come back suggesting that I become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back with, Okay, then how about you make it extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. <laughs> but how does that any better? I don't want to be sideways and backwards. I want to go forwards. I heard her annoyed on the other side of the line, and then she said, you just don't see the splendor in the cr of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I had heard of it, but all I know, I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but then it's in some legend hardly relevant to our great obsessed modern society. Sure, the monkeys still show up in the movies and stuff from the time to time, but not the crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? But what I'm saying is the crab has no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady, which is why I chose the ever-popular bear image. And that's, and that's the, the secret, secret origin, origin story to Monokuma. <coughs> Good. Get ready. I need 
need to do something about Sakura. That girl that died. I'll talk to the others about it one more time. Yep. Wah! Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think they came from the dining hall. Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Uh. Look. Pierce finger point shook and because he pointed. Kina! Are you okay? What happened? She she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! You gotta be kidding! No 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 no, she's not dead. Open your eyes. No way, she's dead. Why? What happened? Uh. Well, Toko and Hino just all of a sudden, they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table, and that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be, I might be flat, but at least mine are real. Look at all the, look at all my sharp, er, sharply collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, Anyways, totally not adorable. <laughs> Boys, just get her out of my sight, okay? Hi, or else I'll start cutting, 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 and indulge myself for oh, who knows how long. Okay, then. Let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, uh, help me. Um, sure thing. <laughs> Wee -wee 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 <laughs> Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh caused chased us out of the room while we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina, injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to finally regain some of her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yeah, well, a thousand thank you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. That makes you sound even more hostile. I mean, yeah, you didn't do anything, hero. Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight, and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, that fight was because of Sakura? But... At first, I just tried to ignore it. If you let the jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left for you to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just, without thinking, I felt like I wanted to punch her a dozen times. For serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack just let loose, right? It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know. Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up in tears, and just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open, and I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges, and then she stood before us. Hina. Sakura? Ugh. Your hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Yay. Makoto, Hiro, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. Oh, damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you? What is this? <laughs> uh, I'm okay, really. It was just a stretch. Oh. Or scratch. Uh, no unforgivable. I can't, I can't forgive, forgive them for this. Uh, Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What, what? Uh, I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive Why? Uh, this, this is uh, Somebody save me. Hero nearly tipped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just seconds later, what's going on? What's all this noise about? Yoko stood in the doorway to the nurse's office, taking Kiro's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just... I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line. Goodbye. Wait, Sakura... Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. And the only ones left 
Will you talk to me now? Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, it's I fine. figured. It's fine, huh? <sighs> About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter. Then do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were the only thing... Th you were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that... I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. I know... What? Because... Because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind, and I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, and I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... Anyways, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's forget about it. Okay, thank you. See, if it was real me, I would have said, Hey, this is what I'm feeling, blah, blah, blah. I know it's not 100% confirmed, though I want to talk to Sakura about it. This is, this is what's going on. But the game didn't let me do that, so it's fine. There's no point going somewhere else right now. Wait. Why is there no point going somewhere else right now? A trash can. What? Is this like rekindling with... Uh... This is probably rekindling with Kyoko time, then. The refrigerator. Inside is flexible and used for transfusions. This is literally rekindle. Rekindle my relationship with Kyoko time. <sighs> that issue we discussed. It doesn't matter anymore, but I want to talk to you about something else. What is it that you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me that I... Somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away with the setting at brisk pace. Uh, Kyoko? I hurried to catch up to her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. The bathhouse. That makes sense. The dressing room. So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not that... It's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. After Alter Ego asked me to bring the others to... Or er, to bring others to come and see him. Apparently, he was something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something. And we'll figure out what Alter Ego ask, wants to ask us in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep up the amazing work you guys do every single day. And we'll see you guys then.